At Columbus High School led to nine students being taken into custody. One is being charged as an adult. No injuries were reported, but some residents fear the violence may spill into the community. Rosalind Freeman spoke with Columbus police in a youth court judge today, and she joins us in the studio with more. Rosalind? Yes, even though the fight was broken up, it may not be over. Social media has been buzzing about the Columbus High School brawl and alleged threat today, leading many parents to check their children out of school early today. Columbus High School was put on lockdown after several students were involved in a fight Tuesday. Lydia Corals is a youth court referee in the juvenile court system. She says the violence in school often starts off campus. It's, it's usually not school stuff. Sometimes somebody posts something on social media that makes somebody mad, you know, and, and that's an issue. The social, the DYS worker tries to figure out what the dynamics are and tries to figure out whether this child might be in need of special treatment. Krolls also suggests that youth and families seek help to process emotions and actions. The best thing that a parent could do would be to be involved with their child. Try to help them navigate waters and if they do get in the system either with child protective services or delinquencies, to t work with the counselor and try to get to the bottom of it and see what they can do to help. Those people will tell you, you know, you need to do this, this, and this. And if a parent is cooperative, that really, really helps. These events have led law enforcement to take precautions and monitor areas in the community where students may try to pick up where they left off at school. But when that incident is passed, information is passed on to us. Uh, we take it serious, of course, so we tend to make sure that we are monitoring those areas, whether it's our parks that um, students might be threatening to meet up with, we make sure that we have um, officers present there. Even sometimes if we have to call in extra manpower to make sure that we're manning, because our main concern is making sure that we're um, having a safe place and creating safety for our citizens and of course for our children also. District officials told us that there were additional officers at the Columbus High School campus today and they are working with Columbus, Columbus police to investigate the threats.